Hey, hi guys. Uh, just trying to do using the Fibonim theorem to um, calculate that Wheatstone bridge um, current here, which is our five mention according to that uh, uh, rough drawing there. Now, they were given uh, in the equation, they give us uh, 9 volt for E and then say that. R1 is equal to 6 kilo ohms, R2 is equal to 1 kilo ohms, R3 is equal to 1 kilo ohms, and R4 is equal to 5 kilo ohms, but R5, for some reason, is only 10 ohms. I think they just try to trick us, but anyway, just to make sure we work out our kilo ohms and our ohms together. But anyway, so calculate I5. So what I did here, I just... Um, uh, Let's see if I can. That's all right. Anyway, I've redrawn that circuit and saying that in in feminine uh, theorem, we try to uh, short circuit the uh, the source and saying R one or two, and then put R even in there. Just forget that I five for the moment, and um, just put the same. Resistors again, and with the alpha minute. So basically, what's going to happen is we're just going to use um, the voltage divider rule. So I've mentioned that this is A, B, C, and D. So we want to find the voltage between here uh, with that R feminine. So Basically, it's just voltage divider, and um, uh, you will have to make sure you understand voltage divider before you try to attack this problem, and um, um, don't try to overthink it. Uh, according to the voltage divider, if you want to find voltage in each branch, he's saying that R2, which is sitting there, R1 plus R2, minus, minus, R3, R4 actually, R3 plus R4. Alright, so when we put the um, numbers in there, that's what I got. So 9 times, let me just put a times there just to make sure. Um, but these are all in kilo ohms, so I write the full 1000, 6000 plus 1000, and then 5000 over. 1,000 over 5,000 which was given on top there just to remind you and just make sure you know yeah, look at everything and uh, what I've done is I'll find out that um, uh, when I try to do the feminine uh, voltage, so 9 times that end up being um, here 9 times a thousand over seven thousand minus five thousand and remember this should be in a bracket here anyway and uh, if I get rid of all the zeros there I should get that little question I wrote there anyway I should have write it I'll rewrite it there and uh, when I do the calculation on my calculator that's what I get I got a minus Voltage so minus 6.214 volt and don't forget voltage there yeah. very very important in the exam or the assignment that you're doing that you write the voltage when it's supposed to be voltage otherwise you get penalized anyway so uh, now what well, well, what I've been talking like talking about is basically that bit there, and saying that we're going to do the R feminine of this. And remember, they've given us uh, 6,000 ohms, so I'll write it there, so for you to make sure you get it. So they say R1 is 6k ohms, they say R2 is equal to 1. Kilo ohms, 
and our who was one kilo ohms two and our five our four sorry was um five kilo ohms so what I did here I got rid of all the zeros so this should be six thousand times one thousand but it's much easier to to um remember just six but remember your answer here have to be in kilo ohms you have to remember that and if you're not sure just write the six thousand times one thousand and everything there so what do I get from that is six over seven plus five over six would give us one point six nine kilo ohms yes all right and I'll find out on YouTube the guys try to go very quick and assuming you know everything so that's why I try to do this video to make sure that people go step by step and understand because the teachers go very quick and they kind of make it like a big mash at the end anyway so make sure so you go there and a bit of reward that there for you guys again so um so they say fine I five, which was at the start of the question I told you that current there. So when I look at R five, say fine I five, which was the they want us to find the current, of course. They say V T which is V feminine over R T plus R five. And remember R five R five was ten ohms. Yeah. And um, what I did, just make sure you write it. So we find V feminine, which was minus 6.214 volt. And uh, remember, this is in kilo ohms. So 1.69 times 10 to the power of 3, or 1.69 times 1,000, to be clear, to talk English. Because a lot of teachers in on YouTube, it just go, you know, very technical, and the guys at the end then go, who? Huh? What's just this? What are they talking about? What's this, what's this kilo? Kilo is just a thousand. Anyway, so 1.69 times a thousand plus 10 ohms, which is R5. And uh, this was R5, which you calculate here, remember? And that's uh, supposed to be ohms. And um, that give us this answer, which was minus actually see make sure we write this there that's minus two and uh minus zero point zero zero three six five amps and as a good engineer we move one two three which is divided by a thousand actually and uh oh see Multiply by a thousand, not dividing, and it gives us three point six five milliamps. Don't forget to write the milliamps there. And uh, that's pretty much it. And um, we try to recap the question very quick. So they've asked to give us that um, circuit there. Tell us to find I five. Calculate I five. If we draw on the circuit with the short circuit we according to feminine, calculating the voltage divider using the voltage divider rule. Calculate the voltage here. And uh, what do we get for that? We get this answer there. Six point minus six point two nine four minus voltage. And then we take that bit there, we calculate the R feminine, which is basically the uh, parallel resistor um, calculation, and uh, we put that in, and don't remember, remember whatever they ask you, if it's kilo, or whatever it is, milli, mega, make sure you take that in consideration, don't forget it, and um, finally, Five again, so VT over R feminine, V feminine over R feminine plus five, 
and uh, that's what we get. We get minus 3.65 milliamps. In there. All right, guys. Don't forget to um, subscribe to my channel and uh, make sure you get all these calculations right. And if you have any question, I'm learning as I go too. And um, that would be great if you send me some questions so I can work out how or where did I do a mistake or something like that, something that I uh, didn't really understand myself. Okay, thank you.